YouTube land. It's another rush hour again because I heard a baby goat crying. And when I check, it's a different color, which means it's coming from a new mama. When I, when I check, it's from Melly. She had two big babies and it already dry. So I really don't know what time with the noise last night for the fiesta preparation. Like William being sick, haven't got a minute of sleep because there was a neighbor who um, played karaoke all night. So and, uh, we can't stop it from happening being fiesta. And uh, now I'm, I was about to feed them when I saw this baby, a tortilla one. And look at this, this is gonna be gross guys, warning. The after bird is here. Hello! Hello, sorry, I didn't hear, man. So sorry. We have new babies, tall babies, big babies. Daddy's gonna help, okay? Just wait, okay? The congratulations, Melly. You already want to climb. You can do it. You can do it. But we still need to clean, baby. Here she doesn't want her babies. So William had to <coughs> milk her. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be feeding the babies from that uh, milk that William extracted. Come on, Melly, please. We go to your babies. I give you banana. Come on. We got uh, salt, salt here, salt. Lina. Lina, dear oh, baby. Mama coming. Mm, there's your babies. Mel, there's your babies. Oh, sige na, sige na. There's salt here. Thank you. Good mama. Very good mama. Salt. And I think <laughs> the salt stick there is empty. So I move her here. This is still half. Uh, half of the stick, the salt there and uh, she tried to dry her babies up again sick boy is still wet and it's um, kind of shitting yellow already so that means it uh, has drink its milk already earlier before we found before we found it or like before we found out that they're already born I feel so, I feel such a failure <laughs> with Melly because uh, in her first two liters, she had it at noon time. Like most of my goats are in noon time. Only Spitfire gave birth at uh, nine, night time. And now the mother, Melly, had it like by the looks, it's uh, they are a few hours old already. And uh, seeing the afterbirth, yeah, it's been few hours already, but not um, like last night. No, it doesn't look like. And because the the liquids there are still like fresh. The thing is, she did not uh, bleed as much as Nani. So uh, for me, it's a good thing. But like the moment i try to help her i help the baby suck her milk she just butt head and i noticed she butts head the boy well, that i found um, here in the stairs of the other hotel it's looking for the mama and it has a wound so i have to purple spray it later the, uh, the antiseptic and look at this She's, now he's, he, he's getting uh, trauma Lose it, baby. this boy is getting trauma with Melly now uh. for the breakfast I gave them today priority are the new mamas Nani and Melly after she finally was able to stand straight. I think he's still feeling the pain of that uh, wound from when he fell down earlier. So I think 
he'll be okay. Um, I give the I'll give them the milk later. For now, I let them kind of adjust to the new house. For now, so Millie is already shitty. <laughs> like um, Nani, she had the babies for days now, but uh, like. She would not shit inside her pen. But this uh, new mama Meli, he's already shitting. <laughs> so I keep, I would keep cleaning her room today. I don't know. She eats a lot. Since she was a baby, she eats a lot. Just like Spitfire. That's why Spitfire. Um, her weight is not beaten yet. Uh, she's still a star holder in the farm. Although she's rehomed, but she still we still have the records that uh, she is a star holder, being the heaviest at one month old. And like I think by the looks and by the feels, uh, she's also the heaviest at birth. Like she's really big, being uh, just a solo uh, kid when born so they're eating now I have to do something for the others kind of a wide opening so this is uh, like Melly has so much milk she's the best or oh, like she's got the best others <laughs> so, oh how should I say it she's the most milk out of all my dose here in the farm if you can remember, if you have followed uh, me and William, Spitfire, even when she is already like having her own baby, Millie is still giving her milk until like she's uh, nine months old, or like until she even have her own baby, Spitfire. So that is how good um, Millie is. Provider, <laughs> so good of her, but like right now, we have to deal with her issues. And he doesn't, she doesn't show any um, love to her babies. I don't know why. Oh, how good is that? I poured it into a uh, baby, uh, baby bottle and it is like one full bottle so i'll keep this warm for them excuse me <laughs> i just had breakfast guys i haven't even digested my food because uh, the baby are, is crying like um earlier when i found out there's new babies it's crying like so much that i have to run and um, i just had breakfast and feed my babies here inside the house and Voila, I have. Mm. So time to warm this up so I can give to the babies. Back and I'm ready. It's 9.40 at the moment and um, it's still raining guys. It's um, hard actually having newborns in this uh, rainy season because it's hard to get their food like I don't want to get sick also so but this weather is just uh, won't stop me from taking care of my babies especially the mothers who are kind of in stress at the moment I have to do it I have to do this feed them with the necessary <laughs> so catch you later guys I just finished feeding the goats and here I, I comes with a big <laughs> hunk of lechon hello I good morning and thank you oh, look at that <laughs> <laughs> thank you I I don't have to cook I don't have to cook I don't have to cook thank you I bye How good is that guys? I have uh, rainy nose at the moment being exposed to the early rain. 
Yeah, and I have to just shower now and um, I don't know how I look on camera but <laughs> this is a goat mama life. <laughs> I have to do something especially when they just give birth like extra food um, vitamins just to uh, speed speed up the recovery and make sure that the babies have the colostrum and really um, must done that earlier actually because my goats don't listen to me like the dogs <laughs> it's like for them you know they kind of um, it's just mama thing you know it's mama mama will uh, tolerate us it's like that i know human mamas can relate to this some don't maybe but um i guess mamas are born or like are made um weak like that to like somehow um give chance to those who need it <laughs> i think i don't know i'm never i was never a human mama so i think the same same when you like you are a goat mama or any animal mama so it's raining again guys i should be i should stay inside now they are full now for breakfast i'll be out later again for um their lunch and dinner so we have Samsung second liter, Melly's third liter. Yeah, so we're happy. The babies are okay. I'm gonna check them later again for the milk. Um, if, if Molly won't feed, then I'm gonna be feeding them. That's for sure. So it's, uh, I think, 10 o'clock now. It's coffee time and shower time. <laughs> Or maybe 11 o'clock already. I really don't know. Ah, 10 minutes to 11 o'clock. My god, time flies so fast. But we have our lunch ready. Yeah, it's not looking crispy. But I can make that crispy. That's for sure. I can make that crispy, guys. <laughs> Walk it in oil and it's done. So, because we have new babies, that means naming time again. And now uh, we're gonna be drawing, like we will be happy to get your suggestions for the names. It's a boy and a girl, and um, it's a both tortilla colors like Molly when she was a baby. So if you have suggestions, just drop in the comment section below. And on Monday, or oh, Monday, what day is today? On Wednesday, guys, on Wednesday, we're gonna be uh drawing the drawing we're gonna be on a draw for their names for the name of melis twins so this has been one pinochic chat saying goodbye have a great day anywhere you are i know the weather is not good anywhere any part of the world i think so I, it's the best time to chill at home <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye.